Hey Mike, i uh, just going to make you a quick little video here just to give you an update on your uh, memory Moog. Um, this is just going to go over some of the things I've been doing to it so far. Um, I've not sent you a lot of pictures, but I just thought I'd make you a quick little video here so you can kind of hear it and hear how the progress is going rather than just seeing pictures. Um, for anybody else that's watching this video, uh, basically what I did this one was I updated it. It's actually an early serial number. It's uh, serial number 249, so it's a really early one. And uh, I installed the auto-tune upgrade, which you can tell by this little card here. If your memory mode doesn't have this little card, it probably doesn't have the upgrade. And uh, part of this too, it upgrades the actual computer uh, operating system. So and that's running 2.4, where you were running uh, 1.6. So a little difference there. It gives you a lot better quality of sound, a lot better tuning stability. And uh, so that's, that's working great. Uh, also, I recapped all the boards with electrolytic capacitors, which you've seen, but all these little blue blue guys, they're all uh, brand new on all the voices, all the boards, uh, DMUX board included. So everything's going great. I rebuilt the power supply, pulled the interface boards, and they're working. And just to show you, I've done just a rough calibration because I'm in. I'm going to put this thing through nine hours of burn-in before I do a full calibration and final cal. Um, I just did a quick one just to make sure things was going to tune up and, and things were working right. But I will show you this. When I hit auto-tune now, let's see if my camera will pick this up. Maybe it will. And you can see it says six tuned. So all six voices are tuning up now. And... Uh, I pulled your boards and cleaned them. I hadn't done any, any uh, detailing on the chassis yet, so it's still a little dirty. But uh, as you can hear, I'll just show you how this thing sounds. I'm doing this one-handed, so turn me up, but just a hair here. I had it turned down during the oscillator calibration. Sounds great, and I will show you that all six voices are actually working. Uh, let me actually go over here. I'll make a fast attack. And I got your knobs off and everything, so let's see here. We'll actually go through keyboard mode cycling. You'll notice some differences in your actual lab uh, labeling on your uh, parameters too. Some things have changed from poly one, poly two. It now says like actually cycling, you know, whatever function the voices are in. So it's kind of nice there too. Go into debug mode, and I will show you that all voices are working. So right now we're on voice, uh, that just says defeat voice. You can see four, five, six, there's one, two, three, four. So you can hear they're all working. If we open up the filter, this thing really comes alive. As you can hear, I mean they're they're working, they're working like they should. And everything's working great. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna do a, a burn in, and then I'll do a full calibration again, get everything right on the spot. And uh, I'll make you another video. And uh, but I just want to give you an update and show you that this thing is actually making some good progress here. And I really appreciate you letting me work on your memory mode, uh, Mike. I really do appreciate it, and uh, look forward to getting you fixed up here. Take care.